All right, ladies and gents, I am back from my little road trip that I took in my Chevrolet Bolt. It's actually being charged right now, getting topped back off. I had like, I don't know, 20 something miles when I got back to my driveway here in New Jersey. Uh, it was a pretty cool trip. It was a good experience as far as the actual trip of why I went to where I went. What was an interesting experience was the charging. And we're gonna get into that hopefully in a future video very soon. I got a bunch of uh, information I'd like to talk about and some footage on my journey that I took. So that'll be for a future video. Today, we're just kind of getting caught up on stuff. It is Saturday. Yesterday, I had a Bolt show up, which is this blue one right here, EUV LT model. So I got to call my customer and let him know it's here. I just want to take a look at it first. Beautiful color, really pops in the sunlight. This is an EUV LT with the comfort package and the driver confidence package. So basically it's the same car that I'm driving only in a different color. Looks like this car arrived with four miles on it and it's got about 42 miles of charge from the factory. What I'll end up doing is plugging this car in uh, before I leave today. I'll charge it overnight and then I only live four or five miles from here so I pass here all the time when I'm going to the gym and stuff like that. What I'll do on uh, Sunday tomorrow is I'll just stop by in the morning and I'll unplug it. But this way it'll be ready to go uh, for hopefully Monday when my customer takes delivery. I do see that there's a front plate bracket on it, so the pre-delivery inspection has already taken place. So this is, uh, this is ready to go. The other car I have to find is a Chevy Trax that showed up while I was away, which is a black RS model. I think it's parked in the back here. That gentleman uh, is coming down to check it out today. So they wanted to come in and drive one. We got a whole bunch in, one of them being the one that he put a deposit on. So we'll take a quick uh, peek at that. I'll pull it up front. This guy got all smashed. Oh yeah, here it is right here. These have a nice stance. Like this new Trax really does look cool. It's got a, you know, it's got a nice stance. I don't know how to explain it, whether it's the bigger wheels or just the way it looks. You know, lower, lower roof line, wider, longer. They really did a fantastic job with this vehicle. And so far, uh, everybody's just loving it. Like the response has been phenomenal. This Trax is it loaded up uh, two RS with the sunroof, which is a nice option, and black, which is the color my customer wanted. I talked to him in the past, he was shopping a couple different stores. It looks like people in the area are charging over MSRP for the Chevy Trax, according to what they told me. That was one of the questions they asked me. They called me up and said, listen, are you charging over? And I said, no, and he said, do you have a black one coming in? And I said, yes, and he said, okay, cool, can I put a deposit on it? So it was pretty much that easy. You know, this vehicle is selling very well. Inventories are depleted a little bit again, so it doesn't surprise me that uh, the above MSRP stuff might be coming back a little bit. You know, so it's definitely a very fluid market uh, still. What I'm gonna do is just park this up front so when they do show up, it's here, and they can just uh, check it out and take it for a drive. So far, it looks like we have a pretty busy Saturday going here. I have a Traverse going out. There are two bolts going out today. There's another Traverse going out, and I think there's an Equinox being delivered, plus the business that we're gonna write um, and anybody else that comes in that might pick up something that just showed up, like my Trax customer we were just talking about. So it's fixing to be a good Saturday. While I'm waiting for my customer to show up, my delivery, I'm just going through like my orders. And I had a Corvette that was supposed to be built the first week in June. I'm just checking on it now because by now I would usually have the VIN number and it actually got bumped. It got bumped to the week of July 10th. So whatever happened at the Corvette plant, for whatever reason, they postponed that build for a month. So now rather than the client having it at the end of June, they'll probably have it at the end of July. Yeah. Maybe like 2.30? I can I get customers until then? I also have a customer right now here on the Tahoe that came to look uh, for Tahoes. We only have one, it's an LS. So he's checking it out right now just to see if he'd consider it. I wanna see if we have fuel here because there's no fuel in it. And the fuel cans are gone. The fuel cans weren't there. I'm gonna have to run it to the gas station if you want to drive it just to put some fuel in it. See what we can do. No go on to Tahoe right now. Tahoes are tough, we still can't get them. This is the only one we have in stock. It's a base LS model. Now the guy has a Acadia Denali, so it's the, the fully loaded 
most equipped vehicle you can get in the Acadia lineup. So for them to drop down from one thing or, or liking to have all those features to this, it was a hard sell for him. You know, like it's just something that he's not ready to commit to at the moment. We do have a Z71 model, luxury package, that sort of thing that is being built probably in, I think the end of July. So maybe that vehicle would show up in August. So we did price that one up for him as well. He's gonna consider that and then, uh, you know, get back to me, but he's trying to find something on the lot now that he can buy and take advantage of. And unfortunately, uh, we just don't have it. Hey, Sean, how's it going? Right, I just so missed your call. Now, though, no problem, I'm here. I got the car pulled up front for you right when you get here. Get All right, you got it. Thanks for the update. Currently 12.36, my delivery was gonna be here 11.30, they called, they were running late. They should be here any minute, sometime around 12.30 to one. That was a phone call of someone who's coming in around 1.15 to drive the black RS. We talked about that earlier. And then at 2.30, I have somebody coming in to drive a trailblazer. So I got a pretty busy afternoon on the way here. The one is just delivery, the other one is to firm up a sold vehicle, and the third one would be a possible sale. We currently have like six trailblazers in stock. We have a RS and a couple of LTs over there couple of LTs and an RS over here. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll take uh, pictures of the stock numbers. This way, like when my next customer comes in, if they're like, yeah, I wanna drive the RS or you have a red LS on the lot or whatever it is, I could actually just real quick get the keys and I'll have the stock numbers for our machine to make it a little bit easier. Or what I could also do, which sometimes works out better, once I'm logged into my machine here, I could just hit TRL, hit model, It'll show you have seven assets, you hit review, and it brings up all our trailblazers as well. It's actually probably easier to do it that way. I could just come right to the machine, and if they want to drive the RS in pearl white, I can come over, hit the button, check it out, and there's the key. Do you have a plate? Sure. My uh, Trax customer's here. Sean, the uh, RS. Time to get to work. I gotta do a trade appraisal, which was slightly unexpected. It's on an older Impala. So we're gonna take care of that. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna have to work right now and I'll catch up with you when I'm done. We're currently doubled up. I have my Trax customer here. I also have my delivery here. So I'm running around. My delivery has a Cadillac uh, that he is dropping here. It's a lease and he bought these lug locks and he wants them on a new car. So real quick, this doesn't fit on here. So real quick, I'm gonna swap them, uh, swap them from this car to the new car. The storm of the day is ending. However, it's getting very windy out, so it's like a storm in real life. I got super busy there for a second. Had two customers and then a third customer show pretty much all at the same time. But uh, we're done. We got everything uh, on the road that we had to. Our Trax customer is going to come pick up his car on Monday. And our customer, how do you load? And our customer that came in to test drive the, the Trailblazer liked it a lot. It's really for her two sons. So she's gonna check with them and see what they really think and if they're comfortable driving it. And if so, hopefully we can put a deal together there. It's about all I got. End of the day, I think I got an hour left to figure out the final couple things I'll have to do. Check some emails, check some voicemails, and finish up this beautiful Saturday here at Schumacher Chevrolet of Livingston.